Can this Amazon original show be the next Game of Thrones? Let's find out. The lives of five young villagers change forever when a strange and powerful woman arrives. They must choose whether to trust this stranger and each other with the fate of the world before the Dark One breaks out of his prison and the last battle begins. Before getting into the review, I really want to thank Amazon Prime for sending me the screeners to the Wheel of Time because of which I was able to watch the first three episodes and bring to you this review. Thank you very much Amazon for that. I really appreciate it. With that said, let's get on with the review. So the Wheel of Time was genuinely a huge surprise. I did not expect this show to be as good as it was. First off, what works in the Wheel of Time is the immaculate cinematography, gorgeous production design and amazing sets. You just have an extremely well made show that is gorgeous to look at. Seriously, this features some of the best cinematography I have seen in a TV series all year and it looks fantastic. From a technical standpoint, this show is just amazing. Another thing that absolutely works here is the world. The way they build the world in this show is amazing. There isn't a character that just comes up to the screen and begins explaining how the world works. It is up to us, the audience, to figure that out as the show moves along. And you just keep figuring out the world as the characters move on with their journey. And that is the best kind of world building. Also, the characters are well written. Not all of them, but a few key characters, especially the character of Moraine, played excellently by Rosamund Pike. She definitely brings a lot into this role. She brings this sense of likability and an air of mystery into her character of Moraine. And she just performs very well. Her character is also very well written. At the same time, you're also intrigued by the darkness that surrounds this character. And sometimes you just don't know if she can be trusted or not. And I absolutely love that aspect to the show. And Rosamund Pike is just brilliant. A few other characters are also well written, but it did take me some time to get invested in their characters. They are definitely likable characters here, but it takes you some time to completely care for them and maybe even the entire runtime of these three episodes until you actually begin to be invested in their storyline. So that definitely put down certain aspects of the show, but nonetheless well enough written that I could care for them. It's just that it took me some time. Also, the initial episode didn't completely amaze me. It came off as slightly messy and the way they set up the storylines, it was way too simplistic for the kind of story that they were telling. Now, the Wheel of Time has a very complex world that has multiple characters and so many things going on at the same time. I understand the reason why they chose to take a simplistic approach, but that sometimes bogs down the narrative which could have been even more dense and layered if they wouldn't have made it as accessible as they did because sometimes it does come off as being derivative of other fantasy shows namely Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. I completely understand this was based off on a series of books that was written a long time ago but just watching this now I did feel that it was derivative of a few other shows that we have already seen before. Also, the CGI in this show didn't particularly impress me. Though the production design looked amazing, though the cinematography was great, there are a few sequences of CGI which didn't particularly work with me. When a few characters do a certain kind of magic or when there are these creatures that appear in the show, it wasn't up to the mark and sometimes it just took me out of the show because it looked fake. It doesn't exist all the way through, but there are a few sequences that definitely contained not so great CGI, which, yeah, which kind of took down the intensity that the show was building up to. Now again, keep in mind that the show is not going to blow your mind or anything because it does 
set up a lot in these three episodes and they're not particularly a lot of payoffs for that setup also combined with the fact that the characters were not instantly likable you might take some time to get into the show but i recommend that you watch all of these initial three episodes and if by the end of episode three you're not invested i don't think the show is for you but just don't give up on episode one if you don't like it because i enjoyed episode one it did come off slightly messy but the setup was all worth for what happened moving forward and one of the major things that really hooks you onto the show is not the characters but rather the world itself you want to know more about the world there are a lot of things that keep going on here and you want to learn more about them which you do learn as each episode passes by and so that mystery is what keeps you engaged into what's going on overall i really did enjoy the first three episodes of the wheel of time the show is definitely entertaining it moves at a really good pace for a show like this it is quite heavy on drama but it never bores you it isn't going to blow your mind or it isn't like amazing but it's a really good show that looks amazing with a standout performance from Rosamund Pike and also her character is excellently written at the same time you also have this really interesting and complex world that will engage you if you're interested in this kind of a fantasy drama then i definitely recommend that you check out the wheel of time when it comes out on amazon prime video on november 19th Comment down below and tell me how excited are you for the show? Are you interested in watching the show or is this not your kind of show? What are the shows, movies, books do you want me to review on this channel? Comment all of that down below. If you enjoyed this video then do give it a like. Hit that subscribe button, share this video and I'll see you again.